everyone it's Lisa and today I'm going to show you I can't really do a hair tutorial because it would be much too difficult to go from wet hair to dry hair in one video but I'm going to show you everything I use and everything I do to get my hair to be if you want it like this messy PC sectiony type look um, kind of like I call it my Pamela Anderson kind of like that messy Victoria's Secret bedhead look I'll show you what I use, and I'm just going to go with what I used last night. I took a shower, and that's important. Take a shower at night because it looks even better the next day and the next day after you've slept on it. So the shampoo I used last night, and you can see, I don't know if you can see, I'm down to here in it, which Brooke has used it some too, is the number one sleek look by Matrix. And I've used, I, st I alternate that with my Enjoy Luxury. The in Luxury is definitely my favorite um, in the Enjoy line. And I use this. This is the leave-in conditioner I've been telling you guys about. Now, last night, I did not use a conditioner. I just used this. But sometimes I feel like if I use the Luxury shampoo or... I just don't think it matters. Sometimes I do use a conditioner in the shower. Sometimes I don't. Last night I didn't, I just put a good amount, probably the size of a, size around of a quarter, but a good amount of this, and then I also put just a tiny bit of my Enjoy, the, this is the um, treatment oil or the intensive, just whichever one I grab, I put just a tiny bit, like the size, just, just as soon as it starts coming out, I pull it back up, just a lot, tiny bit, size of a dime maybe, and I mix it in there. And I mix it in my hands like this. And this is after I've had my hair in the towel for a good 30 minutes to an hour. I usually leave it in there a pretty good time. And I take it out of the towel. It has not been brushed through in the shower or any time. I've just washed it. And I turn my head upside down and then I just pull this, you know, all through. I really get it in the sides. I don't really, you know, focus up around the scalp even though I do get it in the hair up in the scalp but I don't really scrub the scalp or anything I just kind of pull it through mainly through the lengths of my hair and then I go straight to blow drying my hair I don't brush it out and I don't know if that's a good thing or not but I always feel like the least amount of brushing you do the better so I have a T3 hair dryer that I love and um, it's the white one with the crystals on the back I'll put down here which one it is and I get it dry probably about 80 percent once I've gotten it to about 80 percent dry and the whole time I'm drying it I dry it upside down to probably about 70 percent and then after that I come up and you can see this has my hair like all over it this brush lab brush still my favorite I will never be without these and I just keep you know round brushing my hair all over until it's a good probably about 90 percent dry then I the first thing I do is I take this section right here and I just pull it up just like this and you can see my roots are kicking I'm getting my hair done I believe this week and then I put my brush in it and I take it all the way down to where it's you know taut and I hold it there and I hit it with the hair dryer for a good I, you know I move the hair dryer you don't want to burn your hair but I heat it up and I leave it in there for a good gosh sometimes I walk around like for a good you know minute or so and then I let it back down like that I keep on doing that you can see one more section and then the other section Okay, it will naturally divide into these sections. And what I do is I don't brush it out. And I also will take, you can see how this hair is going back. You'll look underneath these sections, there'll be a hair, you know, a section under here that's kind of laying flat. I take this section and I take the, the hairbrush, I pull it all the way to the end and I do it like that. And then I hit it with the blow dryer. And I leave it for a few minutes until it cools and then I let it down and it will just be going you know crazy and I spray it you want to spray those sections while they're still sectiony and what I, I've got so many different 
hairsprays for so many different occasions, but this is the one I really like if I'm wearing my hair like this, and it's the Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging Extra Hold Hairspray. This is not cheap. I think it's like $24, but it has lasted a long time, and I really like it because um, the smell is not great, but it's very, very dry. Like when you spray your hair, it, it's good hold, but it's really dry. So it doesn't, um, doesn't make your hair goopy, and it doesn't make it get real matted looking when you sleep. It just basically keeps it like it is. And I, you know, use it in the morning. And the too. next morning when I wake up, it basically looks just like this because I haven't brushed it. The only thing I do is I take a good old, old fashioned pick like this, and I will just kind of lift it up and just fluff it up some and then I might go underneath and like you know straighten this part out and that is about it and this will last me a good three days and if I want to get more volume usually I don't have that problem because it seems like the longer I go the boofier it gets but it will get maybe a little bit oily in here I either use the Schwarzkopf I think it is hair powder or the I like the bumble and bumble white hair powder for blonde hair and um, but this is just you know it's something I like I know it's not for everybody but I don't like to look too you know when I do my hair curly then it's more of a fixed look so I like this just to be something different so I hope that helps and I'll be glad to answer any questions I do think I just can't praise doing your hair at night enough I think it frees up your mornings it just it's better for your it I don't know I just feel like it is better for your hair I don't know I feel like you can do less I can get by with not flat ironing it if I sleep on it but if I do it the next morning I've got to flat iron it because it's so frizzy right after I wash and dry it and um, for you moms out there they're in a hurry you will feel more encouraged to take the time to get dressed and put on your makeup knowing you don't have to take a full shower sometimes if I knew I had to take a full shower I might would just throw my hair in a ponytail and just head out the door and just not feel like taking the time. But if I already have my hair done, then it's so easy just to put on your makeup real quick and get dressed and go. So I hope that helps. And I did an out for the day in the video before this, and I will link that one. So have a good day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.